One of the things that we're used to as QuickBooks users is we're used to having some standard reports given to us in our QuickBooks file, financial file, and the same is for field service management. So if we go into our reports here, we can take a look. We have some different types of reports. So here's our work order reports that come standard, top dollar work orders, what are our list of work orders, what are our work orders generated from service agreements, okay? Then we have, you know, customer work orders, what are standards. The uh, golden, golden reports over here um, are the premium reports. They can't, you can't select on this and copy them or edit them. Um, but any of the other reports, you can click on it and edit it or copy it, okay? And then, of course, in the QuickBooks manner as well, it's pretty easy to create your own report. So we're going to click on New Report here. You're going to choose your report type, so you have all these different types of reports you can create. And basically, it just decides, it narrows down which columns you can choose from. So I'm going to, I'm going to click Work Order Type uh, of Report. That gives me the most options say next here. Then we have our report type with indentation without. I always just leave it standard here, okay? Then we choose which columns we want to show. So we're going to say we want the work order number, problem description, primary technician, and we're going to scroll down some more. Say you can have some actions, so maybe date, um, let's see here, date started. Okay, you can have some performance parts around here. So was it overdue by, you know, what was the time from when the appointment was made an appointment to when it was started, the started to, to the appointment end time. So we'll add that for now. Customer information, so I'm going to say the customer name and the site address. That's what I want to show there. The invoice information, so I might want to just show my total on the, on the invoice can also break it out to say labor total, parts total, miscellaneous total, parts total, miscellaneous total. All right. Uh, I have my work order custom fields that I can add to the report here. Uh, my notes, I can add to the report there. The time the note was taken, who was entered by, or the actual text. I can have my document types and my file name. Captured time, so how long was the tech on time record? Okay. Assign text, I can add that here. Problem line item, so I want to add my service and my description maybe. Custom customer fields, I can add those here as well as custom site fields. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click next here. It's going to take me to the formatting screen. Notice up top, these are the columns that I chose. If I wanted to move, so let's say I wanted the customer to go first, I'm going to move this all the way to the left. All right, and then perhaps I want the uh, primary tech to be showing right next to the work order. So you move that to the left. So you just click on the column and click move. Then the column label, let's just say I did customer name is too long. So I just want to call it customer. Primary tech is too long. I'm just going to call it tech. Problem started. Okay, so I can change that. there. I can change the justification on a per column basis. I can change the sort order. So if we want to sort, so automatically sorts left to right, but then I can sort some additional here. I can choose a count. So if I want a total count to show up on the bottom uh, of the customer, and then perhaps on the total invoice, I want to show the average value and the smallest and largest values, as well as a sum of all. Okay, and then I can choose how wide I want the columns to be. That's formatting. Next, I can choose to group by. So for example, I like to group by my primary technician. Okay, And I can say I want a summary calculation. So at the bottom of the formatting there where I chose the, you know, to show me a total count and a, the average and, and all those things, the highest value and the lowest value, it's going to show me a summary calculation per primary tech. And also I want a page break per tech too. What that does is allows it, you know, it's a new page for every technician. So I can print out and give the technicians the reports individually. So I'm going to say next here. You can apply filters, okay? So if I wanted to add a filter, I can add, for example, uh, the time started. 
So if you wanted everything that was started last week, last month, uh, notice too, you can do filters by custom fields. So you can filter out by custom field as well. I'm not going to filter for anything right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and say finish. So now you decide what's the report name. If you have any description for that report, you can put that there. And what folder do you want it to fall into? So I'm going to say management. So we're going to go ahead and save this report. Okay. Now if I look in my drop down menu for management, there's my sample report. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it to run it. It will give me the option again if I want to filter out uh, on this report. Let's see it pulling up here. If I want to filter at this point, it'll give me the additional, you know, before actually running the report, it'll let me, okay, let's click on run and see if that'll help it go a little bit faster there. I think it's trying behind the scenes. <laughs> so, oh, let's close out of this. Okay, it doesn't want to run for some reason. Let's go ahead and refresh this really quickly. And then we'll go ahead and run the report again. Okay. So let me go into my reports and my management report. And let us try and click the down arrow and run. There we go. Okay, so it does give me the filter, so I can go in and filter it right here by dispatch team, etc. But I'm going to go ahead and run the report. Okay, so now if I double click on top there, it shows me the customer, the work order number, the tech. So this is just for Marjorie Jane, whenever the tech is Marjorie Jane. All the invoice totals, time on record, um, you know, descriptions, all the information I asked for it to show. And then if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's going to give me my total count for work orders, my average work order total, the largest value, the sum of all, and also the smallest value. Okay. So it's pretty easy to generate a report. Um, and you can always go in here and edit it if you want to. Uh, and, and, um, as, as well, you can always go in and edit any of the standard reports and customize them how you want them to look.